I know you've been mining on Ember Fund platform for months, but this time around you're trying to place withdraw and you are unable to simply because your coins are not in removable balance. I'm going to show you in this video how to convert your coins from playthrough start into removable balance and to place withdraw with easy peasy steps. All you simply have to do is stick with me, pay attention, and watch to the end of this video. So a month ago, when I introduced Ember Fund to you guys, it was easy. All you simply have to do was come to the platform, mine, and then once you come to minimum withdraw, you hit minimum withdraw, you go to the page, put in your wallet address and place withdraw, simple. But over the months, they've made some changes and those who are not aware of these changes or how to navigate it are unable to place withdraw after mining for several months. Including I myself, initially I was unable to and I almost abandoned the platform. But then I decided to email their support and then they gave me some replies which I was now able to know how to navigate it and how to place withdraw. So in this video, I'm going to show you those simple steps on how to go. Now for the sake of those that are coming across Ember Funds for the first time, it is a platform that pays you simply for mining crypto. You mine satoshis on it and at the end of the day, you withdraw. But then there are also some other tasks that you can do on it. Tasks including playing of games, answering of surveys, and a lot more. Now, if you're a newbie and you don't know how to earn on this Ember Fund, I've pinned the video at the top of your screen. Check it, look it up, and you're going to see how you can earn on this platform. So for those of you that want to place withdraw, let's get into it. Now, open up your Ember Fund account. If you don't have an account, check the link in the description box of this video so you can register and get started so this is how my home page looks like and if i should click on wallet right now i'm going to see where my balance displays 15.30 once i click on open it you can see on this page i have two balances we have playthrough sats and then we have redeemable sats and as you can see my playthrough sats is showing 22k while my redeemable sats is showing just 3546 which is low just 2.5 dollars and i can't withdraw this I need to convert this my playthrough sat to removable sat before I'll be able to withdraw. So how to convert this is what I'm going to show you how to do in this video. And it is very, very simple. All you have to do is pay good attention. Now head back from this page and go to my tournament section. First of all, there are two methods in which you can use to transfer your playthrough sat to renewable sat. The first is to come to this tournament section. And then you have to participate in this tournament. You can see the first list of options are free. And I have I've entered the tournament for today. So they are free. While the others are paid, you need to use your Satoshi to do it. So you can simply enter any of these tournaments. You can see they have different prizes. This one here, your entry is 250 sats. The other one is 7,000 and the likes. So you enter, you play the tournament, and if you win, then the satoshi the amount you are winning is going to be transferred to your redeemable sats but i don't like that method it's a bit complicated so let me show you the easier method to be able to withdraw your coins so head to this your game section look at the middle option there if you open it there are a lot of games you can play here and i must warn you these games are more like gambles you can see the first one we have here just ignore this first option that play games up to 800k ignore it the other ones you have here, mines and the likes, all of them are just gamble. Just have that at the back of your mind. So I'm going to show you the easier way for you to be able to gamble this out. And you are, you are going to win. That is your winning is guaranteed. Look at these mines, for instance. I don't even know how to play. So I'm not going to show you how to do that. I'm only going to show you the two recommended games you can play on this page. And that is dice and spinner. Let's head into the dice. On this dice page, you don't have to click anything. Once you come here, leave this to 50 and then leave this to 1000 just click on bet you can see this um after i bet this is my cube this cube went up to it seven point something which means i won because it is at this green section so i'm going to go ahead and play again and this time around it came down to red so it means i have lost and that is basically how to do it but the wins here are more than the losses so i'll go ahead and show you my balance is 3547 for some reason i don't know why this place is not updating so i'm going to go out remove the app and then open it again so once it opens up i'm going to go to my wallet section again and then show you my balance and as you can see it has gone up and as you're seeing it went up from 3000 to 4007 there is a basic rule to this game if i win they are not going to debit my my playthrough sats as you can see i'm having 20k so if i win they are only going to credit the balance to my redeemable sats 
But if I lose, that is when they are going to debit my um, playthrough sat. So the logic is, if I win, they will credit the balance to my renewable sat, but they are not going to debit me anything from my playthrough sat. But if I lose, it might be confusing now, but when you start playing the game, you are going to understand more of what I'm saying. Now, head back into that game section and play more of the dice again. So, as you can see, I have played several games on this dice page and I've won several and I've also lost several, but my wins are more than the loss. So, I'm going to go ahead, remove the app, then open it afresh again and show you how much has been credited to my redeemable stats so far. So on this my wallet page, I open up my balance and as you can see, my redeemable stats have increased to 14k and that is $8.59 worth. Wow, that is amazing from $2. And my play to stats has reduced to 12k, which is 7.20, which means I still have more games to play. And this time around, I'm going to show you how to use the spinner so that I'm going to claim all of those, like convert all of those to removable sats. Let me let me leave this dice page. So this is the spinner here, and I'm sure you're very familiar with this one. This is actually the first game introduced on Ember Fund since Ember Fund has started early this year. This was the only game on it before they started adding others. And this is the simplest. All you have to do is set your amount here. As for me, I love leaving this at 1,000 sats. And then you spin. And they show you whether you win or lose. Now the wins are more. When they started it then, if you spin, you'll just be losing anyhow. But now, any small thing, you have won, you have won. And it's basically simple. So if I go to this page, you can see my balance is not refreshing. So I'm going to remove this app again, open it up afresh, and then show you my refreshed balance. So heading to my wallet session and then opening up my balance, you can see my redeemable sat has now increased to 20k. And my playthrough sat has reduced to 4,879. That is massive, really massive. So I'm still going to go ahead and play more of the spinner again till I reduce this such that I'll convert all my balance into redeemable sat. And then I'll show you how you can place withdraw. And trust me, guys, withdraw is now simpler than ever. Like you don't have to wait till the end of the month again. You can withdraw at any time once you hit their balance. And the minimum withdrawal now is just 500 sats. Can you imagine? And I have 20k plus. So it's very simple. Let me finish with this my game. Convert everything to removable sats. And then show you how the withdrawal works. A few moments later and I'm done with playing the game. So I'll head into my wallet. My balance has now increased to $15.48. And if I should open it up, you can see all of my balance has now been converted to removable sats. And there is nothing in my playthrough sats anymore. So which means I am now eligible for withdrawals. So this is just a simple way for those of you that have been having issues all this while, not being able to convert your balance to redeemable sat. This is the simple way to go about it. Now, without much long talk, let's head into the withdraw process. This is the interesting part. Click on this arrow button and on this page, you have two methods to use. The first one is to withdraw to reboot Bitcoin wallet. I'm going to show you how to use that method. The second one is to withdraw to your Ember Bitcoin wallet. And that is only available at the last two weeks of the end of the month. So every last two weeks of the end of the month, you'll be able to use that method. So that will not be available now. And I'm going to show you how to withdraw to your Rubet. Ember has partnered with Rubet. Rubet is an external platform, an external gaming platform, almost like Ember. But this time around, you will draw your coins into that platform and then from that platform to your wallet and then to your bank account, whatever. So I'm going to put in my balance, the amount I want to withdraw here. Click on the withdraw button, as simple as that. And as you can see, they said I have not met the requirements. And there are two basic requirements. The first is that before I must withdraw, I must have completed tasks for seven days. And the second is I can choose to purchase one of their products. I'm going to be using the second method, purchasing of one of their products because I don't really have time to be doing those tasks. But then let me show you how to do that task in case you do not want to deposit. You just want to do their task. Look at on this task page, you can do this offer wall. There are two offer walls here or you can play games as simple as that. But I do not like that task. They can give you tasks like answering the surveys, playing some games, doing some other things that I do not like at all. So let me go and deposit. So heading back to their withdrawal page, I'll click on this buy tokens.
And on this page, I'm going for the lowest option, which is the first one. Look at the price here, 1690 That is the option I'm going for. And that is because I know that the amount I'm going to withdraw from this is more than that. So it's going to cover that and I'm also going to get my profit. Basically, just do your calculations well. Connect your card, whether Visa or MasterCard. I'm using my Visa card from CUDA and it works perfectly. So you put in your code, whatever, and then you make the purchase. So this is a notification I got from a successful payment and I'm just going to click on this thank you button and let me just skip through this and show you how to now place your withdrawal and it's pretty simple and easy. So on this page, I'm going to type in my balance again. Okay, it's, it's input on it. I just click on withdraw and it's automatic. Now, if you don't have a reboot account already, this, um, this your coins is going to be transferred. You are going to go into your email, the email you use in opening your Ember fund, and then they'll show you a link. Once you click on that link, they'll tell you to now register with an email account. Any email at all you now choose to use to register. Once you register and open that your reboot, you see your balance exactly in your reboot account. I'm saying this because I've done this before. I've been able to withdraw $5 into my reboot account before. So this second time, I'll not be able to show you because I do not need to create an account again. They have automatically transferred this into that my reboot account. So all I have to do now is to go and open up my reboot account and show you. So this is my Rubet account, and as you can see, my balance is twenty one. That is the one I just withdraw now plus the five dollars I told you guys I have initially withdrawn. So you can see it's as simple and easy as that. And because of the length of this video, I do not want it to be too long. So I'm going to pause here and in the next video, I'm going to show you how you can withdraw from this, your Ubert account, sorry, from this, your Rubert account to your Bybit. I'm going to be using Bybit, but you can also use Trust Wallet, Binance or any exchange or wallet of your choice. So I'll show you how to withdraw from this place into there. So I'll see you in the next video. Make sure you are subscribed to this channel, turn on the bell icon to get notifications. And with the link in my bio or description box, join my WhatsApp or Telegram channel for more updates like this.